right then. All right, we did Delvo's thing. Uh, we got to do Isaac's thing, right? It's L for log, not J for journal. Uh, so I need to go to the Internet Cafe. Joseph K. Kafka. Got it. Yeah, there we are. All right, it's this computer. Up. Excuse me. It's hello. It's. Okay, we're gonna move this chair because stupid physics are happening. Uh, email. Uh, okay, it's not this. It's, uh, wait, no. Joseph K, yeah. Email. Uh, one. Meet me in the alley behind the fast buck. Got it. Man, I was a the virus and the attached with this message. The virus is in quarantine. Okay, that's not very useful, I gotta say. The alley behind... That's this alley. Yes, yes, yes. I remember what I'm doing. Uh, anybody see in here? Nope. Where'd that rat go? Here it is. Give me that. Yum, yum. Dinner. Alright. Oh. Um, more dinner, actually. Nobody's around. I have the suicide trigger up, which is an interesting decision. Oh. Just gotta grab this guy in a back alley and suck him dry. Almost. He'll live. If his blood bar is his health bar, he's in trouble. Alright, I should quick save at this... I should... If F9 is quick save, that's right. I should quick save at this junction because this part is a little bit glitchy. Yeah? What do you want? I want to watch you die. Yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, pal. I know about the tape. tape? What tape? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I I'm getting the hell out of here. All right. All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Uh, too bad? Uh, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It, it can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. All right. It's only a tape. How bad can it oh, be? You have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her, it just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Pull yourself together. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. Every step I silence. take, he'll My be stalking me. I hear breathing on the other end and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. Give me the tape, then. I have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What that's not... That? That's not how you Shh. read that line. That? I'm like, getting the, the fuck out of here. The, the, the voice coach for this game... Uh... Did not read the, the entire script. Oh, is... Is what I'm forced to... Forced to conclude. Alright, he dead? He dead. Oh, yeah, he dead. Alright, I go back. Because it's not... It's not... He's at Ginger Swans. Like, it, the, the, the full line that he gets cut off saying is, the, the ta I stashed it at Ginger Swan's grave. Okay? You don't, you don't go down at the end of a sentence. So, for example, I don't multitask well. That's why I'm doing this in post. See, I'm going down at the end of the sentence there. So, for his sentence, it should be, I stashed it at Ginger Swan's grave. Or, if I cut it off, I stashed it at Ginger Swan's... See, that sounds more natural, like the sentence is actually being cut off, rather than swan is the last word in the sentence. But... Unfortunately for him, made good time. Uh, as End I said, the, the voice item. director did not read the script. All right, uh, he didn't have it. Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? I don't know. Is being dead a good dis excuse? Ginger Swan, Swan, hmm. not an animal, a name, brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. Where do I find her? That depends. You believe in an afterlife? 
Ginger Swan's been dead since the 50s. 20 years after, there were still grown men weeping at her grave. And this is a case of the scriptwriter not relevant, consulting with the game designer because that's figures. not a grave. It's, um... Wrong door. All right, there's, there, there, there's a different word for those slots in the mausoleum. But a grave is a hole in the ground, damn it. Let's use proper vocabulary here. Even if I can't immediately think of the right word myself off the top of my head. Crevice, that ain't it. Niche. Niche actually might be it. Niche, actually, is the word that you are looking for, Matt, yeah. I love how this is the only entrance to the cemetery. Oh, well, there goes that. Physics have happened. Uh, hello. There we are. And in we get. Right, do I want to bother with this whole Romeo thing? Well, the answer to that question is no, not really, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to get you a hooker. So. Oh, there, Slick. Might want to think about knocking next time I damn near blew your head off. Thought you might be a zombie. Okay. Who else would be waltzing in here in the middle of the night? Name's Romero. I'm the caretaker here. Well, that is, I don't exactly keep people from getting in. Although that is part of my job. No. You see, I'm here to make sure nothing gets out. See, it's like this. Every night around this time for the past... Oh. Alright, well, this is Romero, and he needs a friend. Sometimes a man needs... Alright, I'll save you the trip. I'll bring someone really? back for you. You will? Great. I'll just stay here and keep watch. Oh, and uh, FYI... Uh... Alright. I can go take care of that. Because I ain't doing the zombie thing. That's just a pain in the ass. Because there's a second entrance that you gotta guard. You gotta guard this entrance over here, which of course I'm not allowed to actually just, you know, walk through. That'd, that'd be too convenient. Uh, and then there's another entrance all the way on the other side of the cemetery. And running back and forth between them, there's a character who does not have celerity is, you know, not fun. Alright, now I gotta go get a hooker to satisfy my new friend Romeo. Okay, that guy had a little bit of a excitement happening. There's a cop. There we go, hooker. Hey baby, looking for a date? Not me for me, for my friend. Okay, I'll play along. Where's this friend of yours? He's out in the cemetery. Ugh, oh, no way am I going in there. What kind of freak are you? I assure you, you'll be perfectly safe. I don't know safe. why I should believe you. Well, okay. But I'm gonna get really pissed if you turn out to be some psycho murderer. Let's go. Hey, it's one of the Chinatown models sneaking up behind her. Alright, is she just following me now? I would make the assumption that she would not follow me if I, like, ran wildly off the beaten path. Like, if I tried to go do a mission. Also, did I actually have to pay her? I don't think I had to pay her. Maybe, maybe if I failed to pass that persuade check, I'd have to pay her. Hey. Very... Nice. What can I give you for the assist? Um, firearms. When you fire, keep your eyes on the target even after you shoot. And uh, use the sight, that's what it's there for. And style doesn't count for jack if you can't hit anything. Keep that glock to the sight crap in the movies. You uh, got it. Would you look at the time? Wizard with a gun. Me and uh, girl here got some couch Olympics to compete in. So if you don't mind. Have fun. Right. That was easy. Oh, you can hear them. Wow. Alright. 
it's funny that a wolf howled at the exact same time as the moaning, um, which I didn't even notice when I was recording. I was just listening to the moaning. <laughs> Ginger swan. What the hell is this building? I can't go in it, whatever it is. I love that this building is all the way at the other end of the cemetery. Is there another exit that I gotta watch out for? I thought there was, but I ain't seeing it. Uh, it doesn't matter, I'm never doing that. Ginger Swan! Alright, it's uh, this way, isn't it? Maybe not. Hmm. There are bones over here. I can open this, but that ain't it. I can open... Ah, here we are. Thank you. Got myself a horror tape. What precisely I want with a horror tape is a bit of a mystery to me, but... I have it. Maybe it's this gate here is the other gate that I gotta watch out for. At any rate, not something that I have to worry about, so there we are. Alright, I got that. So, since I did all my quests for Vivi, I actually just wanna pop back in here and see if she's dancing in her club. Because that kinda threw me in the previous run. I, I, I never had any reason to come back in here. But, can I actually talk to you? No. Yep, yep, she is just dancing in, in her club. Which I is a thing I did not know that she did. Well, the thing I, I did not know that she did until the last time I played this game, I mean. Oh, lady, your skirt has done silly things. Alright, uh, we should try the Tommy Flayton thing while we're here. We should also get this taken care of. More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? <laughs> Wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? I just thought I'd say hi. Hello. Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is... Oh, to put it in a language you can relate to. Trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. Noted. Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Indeed. Uh, oh yeah, I love your work. Always good to meet a fan. Can I sign a napkin or something for you? Isn't it in your best interest to pan this place? You have a reputation to keep. How so? Um. Let's try three. This place will pay for this. As sure as my name is Tommy Flayton, they'll never serve food in this town again. Give them hell. Right. There's that taken care of. I'm amazing. What business could you possibly have had with, uh, Isaac? At any rate, Isaac, I have your- Don't have it, do you? Uh, bloody hell, my dude. I didn't doubt you'd find this. You literally just did, though. I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand I mean, my concern I mean, you were told now, it was disturbing, so I don't know what you thought, man. Alright. 
I, that's my only available option, is that so was sick. I didn't need to see that. Dude, you're a vampire. Chill out. The Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. Right. Uh, so how do you usually contact usually, them? Usually, I just put the word out I'm looking for them, and sooner or later, they appear. Excuse me, are you using the Camarilla Intelligence Network while professing to not be part of the Camarilla? That's a tax, sir. I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Right. So, I'll find you a better Behind copy. Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city Don't churning out worry a vile that. byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Okay, sounds good. I'll ask around. Alright, smut. Yes. Uh, how do I even get... Where am I going? I'm going to the... You know, Matt Cat, maybe if you paid attention to the dialogue rather than scrolling through porn on your phone during these dialogue scenes, you'd know where you're going. Hey, I do not scroll through porn on my phone. I look at YouTube notifications, of which I have none. By the way, like the video. Now, here's a question. Do I need to actually go... and beat this information out of absolutely, totally not Larry Flint? Or can I sneak my way into the back of Ground Zero and just get this quest moving? Um, no porn, they say. Oh, this has a lock on it. Damn, alright. Uh, I don't know that combination off the top of my head. So I guess I will go beat the information out of Totally Not Larry Flint. Well, I didn't have any plan other plans for the evening. Gentlemen. Hey, you slick. The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the sin bin. Depraved ain't a four-letter word here. You know what I'm talking about? Great, yes. All right, uh, I got a question. Yeah? What do you want to know? Death Mask Productions. Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? Um... I have a tape. A tape? You mean the tape? You've got a copy of it? Have you seen it? Uh, yes. Look, man, get the hell out of here, all right? I can't do that. Forget it, man. I... Gash. Well, that changes things a little. Five hundred dollars. That's gross, but all right. Okay. Look. Couldn't, couldn't get through and intimidate, could I? And then all you... All hey, right. wait. Look, you might as well know this. Uh, dumb question. Oh my god, you had a butt ton of experience. Yes, but I wanted to throw it into Thaumaturgy for Blood Boil, which is kind of hilarious. Um, another thought. Um, we get Intimidate would be Intelligence and Intimidation. Intelligence would also do Research. Ah, I'm gonna throw another point in Blood Boil. Woohoo! Uh, and then you got six points left. Yep, that's not going to be enough for anything else. All right, except that. Mwah. But yeah, that that set me back a little bit. By the way, speaking of setting me back a little bit, I don't think I ever picked up the armor for this zone. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I picked up the armor for this zone. The moon is out so I should go ahead and do that, which is, of course, uh, another hey. suit. So I'm glad. All right, there's the thing. All right, cool. Uh, all right, so there's this, which is 450. All right, I can sell. This thing is garbage. 331. I need 450. Disgusting. Uh, all right, well here, I got some morphine bottles that I can sell. Lovely. I got a normal watch. All right, that's gonna put me back, but here we are. Alright, light leather armor. Ta-da! Down to $76. But, worth it. Because. Boom. Yeah! Alright, I look spiffy now. I don't care. I missed something. I missed something.
Calls on the payphone down the street by the red spot. Oh, okay. I missed a, I missed a step again. That's what I get for skipping dialogue. The moon is a mysterious mistress. The Lucky Star Motel. Room 2. Don't be long. Alright. Lucky Star Motel. Room 2. You got it, pal. Uh, can we see what these numbers are? Two. Yep, hello. Oh, this looks pleasant enough. Here's, a uh, Internet Cafe Key. Right? That was fun. Hey, um, where am I on Mud Hunt? I did find a key to the Lucky Star Motel. Okay, so there's, there is something else to be done at the Lucky Star Motel. Hold up. That's what I thought. One of these doors will open. Here we are. Oh my god! My work is done. Alright. He's dead. Uh, Brother Salvage, grab that. Quest complete. I don't think so, but alright. Lots of weird stuff just happened in your hotel room, my dude. But, uh, suspecting you don't really care about that. All right, now back to this place. Fetch quest to end all fetch quests. Uh, in in the sense that I'm hunting down the Ankaran uh, sarcophagus and fetching it for Prince Lacroix. Like, yes, actually, this is the fetch quest to end all fetch quests. Whoops, wrong way. Hello. You're a thing. You're dead now. All right, uh, blood boil. Let's just turn that on. Dead hooker. <laughs> No failed target found it. Moved. Ah, that was annoying. Boom. Ow. I need to I need to recharge this, don't I? Alright. Hold up, hold up. Well there's blood salvo then. That'll work. Return to me! Ow, frig! Oh, that worked. That actually worked pretty well. Here, have some. Need blood. Indeed. Ow, stop. How? Right, that, that hasn't worked at all. Um, interesting. Alright, fine, we'll do this the fun way then. Give me, oh right, I have no guns. Maybe there are blood bags somewhere in here that I can... Is this where I came in? Did I get turned around? No. That guy is getting nomad. That's a lockpick 10 door. I'm not getting. To... Hello? Wizard with a gun. Scary. Can I get through here? No, of course not. He can, but I can't. Sad. Madcap, you're, you're spending ammunition. You're going to make the Ming Zhao fight that much harder. There is a non zero chance that I'm just going to stop playing this. Uh, at a certain point. And that point is probably going to be... Move. I need blood. Yeah, yeah, no, ow. Okay, hold up. Inventory, inventory. Just save me. Elder Vitae use. Thank you. Stop. Whatever it is you're doing, stop. Thank you. Now reload the gun. Hello. Now keep reloading the gun. Oh, okay, we are reloaded. Oh, here's oh, a... Oh, Jesus, man, what the, what the fuck is going on up there? Dead, everyone slaughtered up. Oh, God. Shh, shh, shh. Don't, don't make any noise. They'll, they'll hear us. Yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, I mean, no. no uh, fuck it. Yeah, I'm with DMP. You 5-0? No. Yeah, just... yeah, I, I know, but, but we didn't make... Okay, I don't shit. care. Mansion. Please, please, just, just get me out of here. No, no, don't get eaten. Don't get eaten. I needed your blood. Oh, you clicked blood purge instead of uh, blood strike. That's what you meant to do. Isn't that supposed to return blood to me? It didn't. I'm annoyed. Alright, we're going up through this way, are we? Don't use blood boil. Use blood. Yeah, I have it on blood salvo. 
Okay, corpse, tape, dead person, door, door. Oh, well, now I'm stuck, thank you. I gotta make my way back through this, don't I? Yeah, there's probably more. Yep. How original. Now. I'm out of blood again. That ain't good. Yeah, we're getting to the fun part of the game, where blood sources kind of just magically dry up. Not good. Alright, uh, everyone has fled the internet cafe. Which is disappointing. I need a blood bag. Alright, I am going to need someone... to wander their way down this alley. Well, we know, uh... What the heck is... Oh, that's the back door to the shop. Yeah, okay. We, we definitely asked that question in an earlier playthrough. Excellent, there's somebody back here. Unfortunately, this is the same guy that we fed on earlier, right? He has no blood left. Sad. Oh, here we go. Here's a poor unfortunate. We'll just clear that, and then yoink. Alright, there's a bit of blood. A little bit helpful. Um, you know what I haven't done? Now that I think about it. What's this? Wait a minute. How many freaking exits are there to this place? I think we gotta go quick through here because one of these songs keeps tripping the copyright flag. I just might. Why don't you ask everyone else in the world? Anyway, this guy's suicidal. <laughs> There's Did hunters just... all over his club. What the hell, man? All right. Um, my my motivation would be, you know, money. Fine, I've got chores of the stuff. I do my need money. So not gonna lie. He's a big... All right, switch clothes in the club of someone you who looks like idea you. From a sitcom. I'll be back when I find somebody. And don't worry, there is somebody to find right down here. Do I know you? You do. Cash? What do I have to do? Uh, well, just switch clothes with the celebrity contestant. Sure, I can do that. I thought you were going to make me eat a tarantula or stick a worm up my... Right, go to the bathroom and switch clothes with our celebrity. Ooh, there's a watch over here, isn't there? Yes, great, a normal watch. But hey, you know what? Money is money. You got the clothes? I got the clothes. Go to the men's bathroom, you change clothes. You get these hunters from the temp agency, because all a pro's going to do is have a laugh. If it works, I'm out of this city. Here, token of my thanks. Right, and that's money for me, lovely. Having myself a quick dancey dance, because I don't particularly care for this new outfit, I gotta say. Oh well, too bad. Probably would have died had I been wearing something else. Metalhead, not the Metal Productions, the Death Mask back room. Alright, Isaac. Let's look at a tapey tape. Any luck? I got the tape. Then this is no doubt the work of a fiend. A fiend? Hand me the tape. There might be something on it that will give us some insight into what its motives are. in the tape. I know it. It's in the hills. 
King's Way, if I'm not mistaken. My guess is that the fiend that made this tape is using these creatures to hound the Nosferatu, which would explain their sudden absence. They're trapped. Well, it's unfortunate that the prince needs you to see the Nosferatu, because it looks like this fiend knows how to get at them, and I doubt he's going to draw a map for you. Looks like King's Way is your only way in, unfortunately. Hooray! I can have a car drop you off when you're ready. If I don't hear from the Nosferatu within the next few nights, I'll tell LaCroix he's going to need a new leading man and march a few of my own troops up the hill to finish the job. If I may give you one final word of warning, do not trust LaCroix. Do not play the damned politics of the Camarilla. This city hasn't needed them in a long time and won't I'm ever. going to follow one of those pieces of advice, but, uh... That's for you to decide. Not, not the I other. I know who you can't trust. All right. I'll remember that. Goodbye, Isaac. Um, I don't suppose... You head to King's Way yet? Uh, I had a few questions. Certainly. Um, is there anything else? There is. Yes, something. okay, the gargoyle But quest. it involves a gargoyle. Right, tell me about this gargoyle. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is Noted. All right. Uh, how does one deal with it's the gargoyle? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. Thanks. All right. Got the gargoyle quest. La, la, la. Now, uh, do I already have... Diary, thumb... Yeah, I already have this. Uh, so it's got a little bit of thing on gargoyles. Lovely. I need to go back to downtown now. Is, are there stains on my pants? Yeah, I can't say that I like this outfit. Going somewhere? Alright, we gotta go downtown. First of all, I need to... I can never remember which way I need to go for this stuff. Well, my my money lender is over here. My bank, my piggy bank is over here. So this is my first stop. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. You are British in downtown Los Angeles. Right. Sup. Money, right? Indeed. Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Right, thanks. All right, there we go. That made some money back. I'm happy to see that. All right, next order of business will be a little bite to eat. By the way, what was... This. Is this the fetish dish that I'm supposed to give to Pisha? Because I never did that. Because that's... Uh-oh, there's no scantily clad woman running down here. That's a little bit annoying because that's the best place to grab a bite to eat. I'll worry about that in a minute. I need to go talk to Strauss. And then apparently I need to go talk to Pisha as well, which I'd completely forgotten about. Amazing. I've already gotten the Thaumatological Preacher's book. Whoop. Frig. Well... Got to where I needed to be. Sup? Hello, neonate. How can I be of assistance? Gargoyles. Of course. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? Well, um... It seems that one lives in an old theater in Hollywood. What can I tell you about them? Um, is there something special about it? <sighs> yes, I know he something of gargoyles. He spills his guts on this gargoyle one. gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Uh -huh. Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. So how do you know that this is our gargoyle? Isaac Abrams. 
His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of Lacroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? Perfectly. Ah, I see that you've learned well. Despite the indiscretions of your sire, you are proving to be an asset for the clan. I commend and thank you, Neonate. Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. Thanks. With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blunt force is the only thing they understand. Blunt force is something that I can provide. Well, actually, that's that's beyond false. I, I have a point in brawl. Okay, I have an point in brawl. Firearms are useless, he says. I wonder what about magic? I'm not going the right way to get out of here, am I? Oh, yes, I am. Okay. It's kind of weird that Max's secret base is designed to trap people in rather than keep people out, but also kind of fitting. I assume that he needs lots of, um, you know, experimental subjects. All right. Uh, why aren't you going down the dark path in the alleyway? Also, where's the hospital? The hospital's over here. Okay. I need to, I need to drop in on Pisha really quickly because oh, I forgot to turn this in. Embarrassingly enough. Sup. The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Yeah, we mentioned this already. Yes. I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One of these have, items. Uh, Alright, I have the one in A fetish is described. You mean this thing, yes. eh? This is genuine. Great. And of one use whole to experience. It. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known yes, as I, I would have appreciated having it that earlier. With Oops. spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. All right. Great. I'll be back if I find anything else. i got to go find the one in the Giovanni lair, but that's going to take a hot minute. So, out I get. Oh. All right. I should really try to get some blood restock going on here. There's nobody else on this street right now. You know what I'm thinking? Sup. Alright, there is somebody else coming, so we want to be a little... Yeah, he's right here. But he didn't see it. He didn't see it, which I think is kind of hilarious. And he doesn't really care that she's just stunned here. Oh, oh there's somebody else coming the other way. Alright. Guy coming the other way might potentially walk down the dark alleyway at night. I doubt it, but would appreciate it if he did. He has no idea how to get around the trans woman. That is unfortunate. Really would like to stock up on blood, and this is like the only good place to do it. This guy's by himself. This guy's all by his lonesome. Yoink! Oh. Alright, almost done. No one cares. Again, amazing. It's not line of sight, it's proximity. That's just really good for me. Anybody else? We might actually be able to just grab this hooker. Uh, is anybody coming around? No one's coming. She's going down the dark alley. After all that, I have someone going down the dark alley. Except I think this is the woman that I drained earlier, so maybe not. But, don't care. Let's have at you. It is, but she had enough left, so... We're good. We are topped off and ready to get killed fighting a gargoyle. Ah, uh, bliss. You probably want a uh, blood shield. Not gonna lie. Blood boil, blood silver, blood shield. There it is. Right. Where to? Uh, just drive. We're going back to Hollywood. If you do turn on Blood Shield, remember to turn it off before we, uh, you know, leave. How's your skirt today? Is it is it in the right place? Sort of. Your leg is clipping through it. Oh, actually, it's two skirts. It's it's got a slit in it. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. Maybe I did. 
Hi. Big man. Kindred invader, monster, I will smash you, crush you, tear the flesh from your bones. Yeah, okay. Um, you must be the gargoyle I'm here to get rid of. Yep, alright. Blood shield, whoa! Here he comes. Alright, so how goes my punchy punch on him? Also, how would, uh, how would a blood strike work? Oh, it does very little damage. Okay. That also does next to nothing. Oh, I can punch him. I'm giving as good as I get with fisticuffs, which is kind of hilarious, given that I'm a, you know, wizard. I'm staggering him. This is so unusual, because normally... Normally... Normally, I'm the one getting staggered by ridiculously unfair enemy gameplay. Can you... Okay, I'm... I need to actually, like with a little bit of a strategy here. Can I have some blood? Probably two packs of this. Great. We're back up. I love this. I'm actually succeeding in punching a gargoyle to death. Which makes no sense. But whatever. No, you missed. Have some. You missed again. I, I don't understand how you missed. Ow. Okay, that, that was a hit. And you're down. Bye bye Very compelling. Alright, uh, F8 is Cancel Disciplines. Yes, there it is. Great. Uh, anything else in here? I don't think so. Probably could have hidden up here, actually. Anything back here? Ooh. Yeah, that's right. There is this area back here. I wonder if I could have, like, chased him back here or hidden back here or anything. Is this anything is the real question. No. Okay. Fair. Well, Isaac, I killed him, but you'll have to take my word for it because his corpse is gone. You head to King's Way yet? I took care of your gargoyle problem. I admit, I thought you'd come back here with a stone foot lodged in your backside. Your confidence in me is just overwhelming. Otherwise. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full-time for the wrong side. Indeed. Pay up. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. No. All right, I get nothing for that. How incredibly disappointing. Need a ride? Oh, do I need a ride? Uh, we need to go back downtown. Oh, sorry, I, I, I'm afraid I can't help. I I was asking for your help, creature. Well, Maximilians, not only have I solved your gargoyle problem for you, but I've actually also managed to uh, keep it a secret. I'm just you that awesome. Leo, Nate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. I resolved the issue with the gargoyle. You did. That's quite an accomplishment for one so young. I just punched it a lot. It was kind of funny. Discretion as well. Again, you impress me, and your efforts are well appreciated. Please accept this gift as payment for your accomplishment. The Tremere clan appreciates your confidentiality. Money! Yes, indeed. You have more than proven yourself, and I have spoken of you to my lord. He and I both agree that you would be a great asset to the clan. What does that mean? It means that you are welcome to join the Chantry as an apprentice. As a result, you will live here in a room of your own and enjoy the luxury and privacy it affords you. Do you accept this honor? I gotta Nick? think about this. I mean, I do have a place of my own. Um... Yeah, yeah, actually, I yes. I knew that I was right about you. Welcome you look kind of angry, my but okay. Your things have already been moved from your haven in Santa Monica. They are my things include my ghoul. All right. 
Uh, I have this friend who likes to hang out with me. I am also aware of your ghoul. She is a questionable distraction in my opinion, but she will be welcome here. Thank you. Right. I am now part of the family. Consider yourself... Consider myself, I suppose. But anyway, yes. So I'll just, I'll just go up here to my, my swanky new digs. Hello. Ah, yes. Ghoul. What the frick is this? Thaumaturgy damage, 140%. Hot diggity. And you know what the best part is? Unlike everyone else who's stuck with that computer in the luxury apartment that you can get, this one's not in widescreen. All right, there we go. Uh, he's left something in the mailbox. Cool. Uh, I got a bed on my desk. I got 12 gauge tube feed ammunition. Well, that's exciting. Thanks for that. Hey, Heather. Isn't this place so much better? It's got its own full liquor bar. And, uh, ooh, blood packs. Yeah. Have all them. Please and thank you. Oh, yeah. This is great. The moon is out. You know what it doesn't have? It doesn't have a TV. But I suppose that'd be uh, a distraction for a vampire wizard such as myself. Right. I'm going to go ahead and call that episode there, then, I think, because I don't really need to. I have no particular desire to get. What? 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 Looks like somebody's been waiting in the what? This is lockpicked? Did you. Oh, you locked a guy in my bathroom, maybe? I don't know. What is this? Okay. What? Hello? Open door? Door open? No? Uh, alright, well that door's not opening. At any rate, I don't particularly care to start the Haunted Mansion thing today, so that's going to be this video. Uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. And now a word from our sponsor. Wait.